Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's Lego building time today and I'm so pleased because I love building Lego. Today we're going to build just a little set. This is the Lego Friends Vet Ambulance and there's not much in here. Let's pull it out. Two teeny tiny bags and an instruction book and no stickers. No stickers, that's awesome. All right, let's see what figures come with this set. We have got a pair of khaki pants, actually they're skirts with cute little shoes with pink laces and a vet's top with the little crest, the little cross on it and green eyes. Who is it going to be? Who has green eyes? Yes, it's Emma. Emma is going to come to the rescue today of the teeny tiny hedgehog, which is busy snuffling at her ankle at the moment. Oh, the little spiky, ow, 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 hedgehog is, <laughs> yep, okay. I really don't think hedgehogs are equipped to actually climb humans, but that's okay. We've got a bow for the back of Emma's hair so that she looks absolutely splendid while she's out rescuing the animals. And there's a spare bow as well, so let's put it on the little hedgehog. There. They look lovely together. They're all bowed up. <laughs> all right. We'd better start building because we've looked at the figures. Now we get to start building the actual piece itself. This is a cute little build. This part here is the little habitat for the hedgehog or what well, do know? Do hedgehogs generally live up a little tree trunk in little branches? There's a little pink flower on there. See, so the hedgie can go up the little ramp and sit up here on the little stud that is, well, it's just right. Oh, do you like that flower? Is it tasty? Are hedgehogs supposed to eat those sort of flowers? I don't know. No, Emma, don't pat the hedgehog. <laughs> They're spiky. Now we can build the vet ambulance itself so that we can rescue this hedgehog when all the things go awry, when all the bad things happen. So you can see we've got the body part ready. This looks like it's some lights, so we're gonna put that on the back. Some wheel arches, and of course we've gotta hold them all in together with some more bricks. This one is gonna take shape very, very quickly. Here's somewhere for the Lego friend girls to sit. There we go. All the wheel arches are in. And now we need the part on the front. Is it called a chassis? I don't actually know. I'm not very good with, <laughs> with car terms. But the bit on the front where, you know, faces the front part, the forward part of the car. So that bit, look, and there are some headlights and no number plates or anything on this one because there's no stickers in the set. Oh, little hedgy, look, Emma's in there and the hedgehog is snuggled in beside her. Not certain that's safe because the hedgehog doesn't have a seatbelt on. Actually, Emma doesn't have a seatbelt on either. Hmm, all right. Um, some side vision mirrors, they're important. And now we can build a little spot for the hedgehog to be popped in the back of the vet ambulance, nice and safely there on your little stud. There's a hook out the side there. We'll see what goes on there. But on the other side is the only printed piece in the set with the little paddy paw and the little cross. So we know it is the vet ambulance <laughs> and a windshield. And we're pretty much done, except on that hook goes the feeding bottle for the rescued animals. And up on the top, we get some more flashing lights. Well, I'm pretending they're flashing. They're colorful and they're see-through, so they probably would flash in my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> okay, obviously it needs some wheels, so let's put those together. Nice rugged wheels. It's good, they'll go off-road quite nicely. We can stack them too. There, a pile of wheels. Oh no, Hedge, <laughs> Hedge you have lost one. It's on the floor, there it is. Okay, all back. Let's put them on the car before any more mischief happens and I lose any more wheels. Because if the car only had three wheels, it wouldn't be able to go. We wouldn't be able to rescue any animals. And it would be so sad. Oh, little hedgy. Now, how are you going to get up there? You can't really. You can't climb up that high, can you? And oh, finally, Emma has realised she shouldn't be picking up the hedgehog. So, there's also a teeny tiny stretcher. Look at that. With a little stud on the top. So, that's how we can securely and safely put the hedgehog in the back of the vet ambulance. Can even clip Emma's hands on. There. Actually, it doesn't actually fit in the back of the vet ambulance so we might just have to hold it up to there we'll stick it on the back there for transport purposes and no <laughs> no that's not safe either no wonder we need a rescue ambulance <laughs> if their dog is <laughs> hedgehogs go around doing that all the time what are you doing emma the hedgehog is driving the car 
This is not safe at all. Oh, you're both very silly. Here, put the hedgehog back there. We've finished the build all up. So that's all we've got. That's everything. We've got the little habitat and the vet ambulance. So let's go. Here comes little Hedgy, sniffing up the trunk, sitting up here, having a lovely day as the hedgehog, when suddenly starts to feel a bit ill. Oh no! And falls over upside down on the ground. So in comes Emma in the rescue, the pet and the vet ambulance. <laughs> oh no, the hedgehog is upside down, which really is not a default position for a hedgehog. So might be time to take it into the vet. So out with the stretcher. Little Hedgy on the stretcher. We're doing well now. Up into the ambulance, store the stretcher back. Okay, all right, the hedgehog is safely secured in the ambulance. Give it a drink of water. It really actually doesn't want anything to drink, so it must be feeling very, very unwell. All right, Emma, ready? Quick sticks, let's go. Off to the vet. Here we are, the vet is waiting anxiously outside. She's been called ahead. She knows that there is an injured hedgehog on the way in. Emma has got the little hedgehog and they are having a look at it on the observation table, checking in its ears and in its eyes. The vet can't see anything wrong, so maybe, maybe an x-ray. Hmm, aha, I see what the problem is. This hedgehog has the skeleton of a cat. No wonder it's feeling unwell. Right, the vet's gonna keep the hedgehog in overnight, fix up this problem of actually having an internal skeleton of a cat, <laughs> and see if the hedgehog is feeling any better tomorrow. <laughs> I hope it does. That's very strange. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos, and I will see you with a new one very, very soon.